guys, it's Shalice from Remember When, back with another card tutorial. This is the third video in the Indie Art card, uh, Cricut Cartridge series, and today we're going to make this card. It's an A2 size card, and I've done some of the preparation in advance to make this short because I'm running out of time on my camera. Um, this butterfly also is one of the leftover ones from my uh, first uh, video, and so um, that is cut at one and a quarter. Uh, we have our A2 size card in cream with the white insert. We have a piece of pattern paper here. This is cut at, oh, where is my sketchbook? This is cut at 5 inches by 4 inches. We then have a pink piece of cardstock here. Um, and this is pattern as well. This is cut 3 by 2. We have a a pink piece of cardstock here cut at four and a half by one and a half and these three layers we're going to go ahead and put together first okay so this piece is going to go in the center flush to the right uh, to the left side of our pattern paper we're then going to take our light pink pattern paper and uh, the this pattern paper is from the Once Upon a Time matte stack by Die Cuts with a View and this is from the Luxury Stack. We're going to place this right about, about oh, a quarter of an inch into the pink. And about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch down from the top of this. Okay. We're then going to go ahead and put adhesive around our layer. And then we're going to attach a piece of blue ribbon near the bottom of the light pink pattern paper. And we're just going to go ahead and adhere that to the back. Okay, once we get that on there, we're going to attach it to our card base, and it's going to be flush with the left hand side with even amounts of space all the way around with the uh, three sides left. Okay, so we got that on. I then have a piece of... Um, this is like a tan cardstock and cream cardstock. The tan is cut at one and a half by one and a half. The cream is one and three quarter by one and three quarter. We're gonna put those two together. I'm doing everything so fast trying to get this video and that I'm messing up all over the place. All right, good. Then we're going to attach this near the top of our light pink pattern paper. Okay. So this is what we have so far. We're then going to take our butterfly and I'm using Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. We're just gonna go ahead and put that on here. You don't need a whole lot, you know, it's a strong bond and you don't want it to ooze everywhere. And I did put two of the like dollar rhinestones from Michaels in the center. And if you remember from the first video um, of this series, the antennas, I was having a problem keeping the antennas on, so I just cut off the antennas and then put the rhinestones as the body. Okay, the last piece we're going to do is I'm going to take this small wonder stamp, and this is from Whimsical Words from Stampin' Up. I'm also going to take some chocolate chip ink, and I'm going to stamp it on this piece of cream cardstock, which is cut at one inch by two inch. Perfect. And I'm going to attach that piece 
to this piece of tan cardstock, which is one and a quarter by two and a quarter. Just like that. Then I'm gonna attach this to our card. And I think this time I'm going to bring it up a little higher instead of having it at the bottom corner. I'm still going to have it flush with the right side, but I just want it to come up a little higher. All right. And here is our finished card with a minute to spare. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, stay creative. Mm -hmm.